this is a classic fitness shoot in which we want like really dynamic lighting, a lot of edge, something that like gives energy to the shot. And so what I did is first, we're starting with our main light, which is an ELC 500 up in the corner. And then to make the shot a little bit more dynamic, we added in this V flat, which is casting this interesting shadow on the background. And then in terms of edging our model, I want to have the edge lights kind of work in two different ways. If we come over here to the background, we have an ELC 500 with a one by three strip box. And we have a grid on the strip box to eliminate getting too much spill on the background. We're getting a little bit, but I don't mind that that much. And it's lighting our model from underneath just a little bit, giving us these nice, like cool highlights. And then as we transition over to the other side, I have another light over here. These are the HP reflectors. They're giving us like a really, really good kind of high power and it gives us kind of like this strong edge on the right hand side of our model. Now in terms of metering this, I'm able to quickly dial these lights in just using this Iconic 308X. In order to trigger it, I have it in cordless mode. Now, anytime I press the measuring button and simply take a meter reading, it lets me know what that light is metering at. And so here I'm pressing the measure button, I'm holding the meter into place, and I'm hitting the firing button on my trigger. So you could do this on any lighting trigger that you have. Therefore, the 308X is beautiful because you could use it with any lighting system easily. And also I have the flat diffuser. The flat diffuser makes sure that I'm just measuring light coming from one of the lights if I had all the lights turned on. It kind of helps isolate the lights versus if I was using the dome. So going through my lights, first I'm gonna measure my main light. Again, simply pressing the measure button. So now measuring my accent light, hit the measure button again. Got that. And now I'm gonna measure my other accent light. Again, scrolling through the groups on the remote, hitting the measure button, holding it to our model. And yes, I'm measuring with the meter pointed to the light because I wanna know how much light is hitting our model when I start creating our lighting diagram later so I could come back and dial all this in. Now here's a tip. There's a couple different ways you could do this. And right now I'm using all white light. So all my lights are balancing pretty much to be the same. All my lights are metering about F8 with my light in the front being only about maybe two tenths of a stop, three tenths of a stop brighter with my edge lights turned down about two tenths of a stop from what my main light is. When I go to another setup in which I'm gonna be using gels, you're gonna see that I'm not gonna want my edge lights to be as strong. And you can take a look at the lighting diagrams in the description below to see what all of my lights were metering at. And so next, we're gonna change this look up a little bit and I'm gonna shoot the same thing, except on like a deep purple background. And we're gonna incorporate gels to show how still using the same lighting setup, you could change the background color, you can change the gels that you're using on your accent lights and come up with a completely different shot. All right, so I just got done shooting the same look, except to change things up a little bit, all we did was go to a purple background and then we added gels. So one unique thing that happens here is before, when we were using just white light on the previous shot, we kind of had a one-to-one -one ratio going on, meaning our edge lights were metering about the same exact as our main light. But now that we're using gels, we want to get much more saturation. And to do that, we actually need to reduce the power of our edge light substantially. So normally when you add a gel as deep as one of these red gels, you're going to drop your f-stop by about three stops. Don't be alarmed. You want this ratio to happen in order to get a nice saturation from the gel. But I always make sure to re-meter to make sure that now I have about a three stop difference between my main light, which I was meeting in front of her face, and now the edge lights that have the red gels on them. Again, this is the same lighting setup as before. We didn't move anything around. We simply changed the background. And then after changing the background, we changed the colors of the accent lights, which gives us a completely different mood. So now with the same lighting setup, changing a few things, we have two completely different looks, both kind of accent the different wardrobe looks that we're going with for this fitness shoot. 